We're doing some experimental archaeology. Uh, so we're trialling the particular system of moving large stones which we believe could have been used during the Neolithic period for the construction of things like Stonehenge. Stonehenge involved the movement of blue stones from the Preseli Mountains to the uh, site of Stonehenge. Obviously, there's incredibly rough terrain to be navigated over that 220 mile stretch all the way to Salisbury Plain. Uh, no one knows how this was done. Um, we believe this, this could be a system uh, that's uh, worthwhile. <laughs> this is called a Shura Sledge, and we find examples of these in Japan dating to about 2000 BC. <laughs> Uh, so far it's okay, but we've only pulled a few times. Not as tough as I thought, but still a bit of a strain. <laughs> really hard, but oh, the guys behind you do the work, so it's fine. <laughs> we've actually achieved some really quite fast speeds. Those fast speeds are perhaps going to change the way we think and the amount of time that we maybe previously presumed that uh, the construction, the transport of stones would have taken. I think there's something nice about doing something like this within the confines of London. Try and explode some of those myths about how Stonehenge was built by aliens or whatever. You can see 